Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy X. We are in Guadalajara right now, and... Well, Yuna has just gone and... Well, revealed something a little odd. Seymour Guado has gone and proposed to her. Like, really? Is this not the appropriate time for that? It's a little bit weird. Hey. It's a different culture. Yuna, the High Summoner's daughter. Seymour, the leader of the Guado. Married in the name of Yevon. Overcoming the barriers of race. It would give Spira something cheery to talk about for a change. Sounds just like a passing daydream, like Oren says. Come on, let's just get on with the pilgrimage. I mean, marriage? Hmm, jealous? What? No way. We gotta defeat Sin. Romance can wait. You sure picked a fine time to lay this one on us. Maybe it is a fine time. You serious? If my getting married would help Spira, if it would make people happy, if I could do that for people, maybe I should do what I can. I never imagined doing anything like this. But I won't answer till I know what's right. Seriously? You could always just quit your pilgrimage and get married. <sighs> I will. Go on. I'm sure that Lord Seymour will understand. Um, I guess so. I am a summoner. I must fight and defeat sin. Like Braska before you. <laughs> I had to stop myself from shouting. What's there to think about? I'm going to the Far Plain. I'm going to see my father and think on this. Go on. We'll be right behind you. Mm. I wondered why none of the others ever asked Yuna. Do you love Seymour? Do you even like him? So we're back to this again. The people of Spira have been so oppressed by sin for such a long period of time that they look for any sort of momentary diversion, whether it be laughter or blitzball or whatever. And in this case, it's this marriage has the potential of distracting the people of Spira from their horrible fate that they have to live through every day. And Oren's like, oh, it's just a distraction. The only thing we can actually do is defeat Sin and, and end all of that. And the other people are a little bit more open to the idea, though I don't think anyone really likes it. That, yeah, this will make people happy, at least in the short term. Question about this far plane. When somebody dies, a summoner sends them to the far plane, right? So their souls, or whatever they are, uh, they go to the far plane, right? But that's the far plane we're going to, right? And Yuna's old man's there too? Do dead people live there or something? Hmm. <laughs> you thinking those funny thoughts again, yeah? <laughs> You'll see once we get there. Aren't you coming? I do not belong there. <laughs> You're scared. Searching the past to find the future. This is all that is there. I need it not. You'd better be going. You're not really going to see the dead. More like your memories of them. People think of their relatives, and the Pyreflies react to them. They take on the form of the dead person. An illusion, nothing else. Hmm. Well, have fun. What? You're not going either, Riku? I keep my memories inside. Huh? Memories are nice. But that's all they are. You're still here. See you later. Riku and Oren are going to stay behind. Ooh, looks magic y.
What the? Damn. Is all of that real? Some sort of illusion? Magic or... Technology. Where the hell did it take us? The far plane was cool, but I couldn't stop thinking about Yuna. Her parents. They look so happy together, but it got me worried that maybe seeing them would make Yuna really consider Seymour's proposal. So people can go and see their dead loved ones in the far plane. Yo, Chapu! Meant to come see you earlier, yeah? Sorry. I know you won't hold it against me. Ah, I gave up the game. I'm a guardian from here on, you know? This guy looks a lot like you. He showed up. Traveling with him, I thought maybe you were still alive somewhere, yeah? Huh? Really look like him. But then again, here you are on a far plane. Guess your place is here. So, how you been? Oh, that guy I just told you about? I gave him your sword. He likes it. Huh? He is dead, and I am still alive. Coming here really makes that clear. I should focus more on what I have to do now. <laughs> what? what I'm not even sure what I'm saying. Don't you mean that you should leave Chapu behind? I'm sure he was a great guy, but there'll be others. Hmm, that's a possibility. Mm. How about mm, Waka? What, me? With Waka? Yeah, you two get along great. Getting along isn't enough. Not even close. Oh, sorry. My mistake. You'd do well to remember that. Knowing a bit about women might come in handy someday. Yeah, I'll remember. I won't be forgetting either. Goodbye, Chapu. You always said I looked grumpy. But those were the happiest days of my life. Yes, Lulu and Chapu were engaged until uh, he was killed by Sin. So, uh, Yuna? I've decided. Uh, oh, really? Uh, that's good. I remember when I was only seven years old in Bevel that day. My father had defeated Sin, and the whole town was out in the streets. Everyone was laughing. They all seemed so happy. If I defeated Sin, that would make everyone happy, wouldn't it? Uh, uh. I must do what everyone wants, not just what I want. Let's go back. You gotta tell Seymour. Before that, call Sir Jet. Give it a try. Huh? Don't worry. He won't come. Trying not to think about my old man made me think about him, of course. See, told you. He isn't here because he's not dead. He's sin. <laughs> that means he's alive, you know. What if my old man really is Sin? What would I say to Yuna? Heck, uh, to everybody in Spira. 
Wait, why should I have to apologize for him anyway? I'd rather never see him again. What makes you hate him so? Everything he does just makes me mad. It was his fault that me and my mother... Uh, uh, Mom? It's her. She's very pretty. But... Wait. No one ever performed the sending for her. She must have accepted death while she was still alive. Whoa there. Uh, that's my mother you're talking about. Oh, I I'm sorry. Hmm. It's okay. Uh, I think I just... figured something out. What? Why I hate my old man. See? See? So, so I, told I told him what I thought of him right, right there. there. What? Really? Of course. Of course. <laughs> I suppose, but... Mommy! Just a sec, dear. Whenever my old man was around, my mother wouldn't even look at me. Maybe that's when I started to resent him, even hate him. When he left us, Mom just lost her energy. Is she all right? Why should you care? If she dies, I wouldn't know what to do. Don't say Mom is gonna die. I apologize. The old lady next door told me, when a lovebird dies, the one left behind, it just gives up living so it can join its mate. It was just like that. I hated my old man even more. But really, my old man... Mommy! Just a sec, dear. Ah, uh, go to him. You'll cry if you don't. Oh, man. Hmm? I must sound so stupid. I don't think so. How embarrassing. Well, need some more time. No. I'm ready. Did I miss something? Well, now we have a little bit of a better understanding of Titus' resentment of his father. A little bit less based on the idea that he was neglectful or any or angry or anything like that. A little more that just it was a competition for his mother's attention. Thanks for waiting. I'll go give my answer to Maester Seymour. Oh. Lord Jiska. Oh, Lord Jiska. Uh, he does not belong here. What? The? Why? Yuna, send him. Oh, indigestion strikes again. The silent killer. Lord Jisco. He is Lord Jisco no more. Send him now. Was that just now? That really Lord Disco? He wasn't sent, so he became a fiend, right? <laughs> I would think that he was sent once. But he stayed on Spira. Something, a powerful emotion, could have bound him to this world. 
such things happen. That's against the rules, isn't it? It means he died an unclean death. Well, we've left the far plane. I'm going to have to bring this episode to an end. So in the next episode, we're going to go confront Seymour with Yuna's decision.